Hi folks, and welcome back to the Star Wars Library, where Star Wars is in print, and today we're going to go back to the newspaper strips to continue on in our chronology here. So we're going to go back to uh, 1979 in our chronology, where we're going to be looking at the newspaper strips again, and now all the strips have now come together, right? So now it's just one story, uh, September through November, um, which is where, you know, the months that this took place, and then Saturday through Sunday, um... I'm sorry, Sunday through Saturday, there's only one story, and this story is called The Tatooine uh, Sojourn uh, by Russ Manning, and you can find it here in Classic Star Wars The Early Adventures. This is where I keep it in my collection, um, and so it is all included in here. So this story, uh, Luke goes back to Tatooine with the droids, R2-D2 and C-3PO, um, and he finds um, a local um, ognum called uh, Andeville. And um, basically, um, Augamites, um, which is their species, whatever, they're an independent party, and they're kind of, they're kind of um, off doing their own thing, is essentially what it is. And uh, the Empire is really in debt to these guys, um, so in debt, in fact, that um, that they can't pay them, you know, all that they want to pay them. Uh, and so the rebels um, actually pay them with physical credits. The Empire kind of just wires money to their bank account. The rebels don't do that. The rebels pay them um, actual physical credit. So therefore, the uh, the Augamites are you know now more so on the rebels side than they are on the empire side. Um, so ultimately, what happens is every time a uh, a rebel base uh, is attacked in this in this, it is uh, preceded by a strange escape pod. You know, it's crashing on the planet, and uh, there's almost well actually what happens is there's an outbreak of a disease. Um, and so they're investigating this disease, trying to figure out, like, okay, why is this happening? What's going on? And uh, ultimately, they end up back at Obi-Wan Kenobi's abandoned home on Tatooine, which is kind of cool. Um, they fight some Tusken Raiders. Uh, Luke is ultimately infected with this disease, uh, but he is cured. But there is a thought in it that uh, this could be, you know, this could be a future attack, or this could lead to a future attack. So they kind of go on guard, and they start doing a lot of, you know, protecting of their bases to kind of, you know, make sure, you know, the stuff is, is, is going to be contained. So ultimately, I mean, it's not a very long story. In fact, it's very few parts in here. Um, if I were to tell you any more, I would probably spoil the story. And I really don't want to do that here on this, uh, on this show. I want you all to read it and, uh, and see what you think about it for yourself. So ultimately, is this an essential read right here? Um, or I should say, is this, you know, the Tatooine Sojourn, um, is this an essential read in your uh, Expanding Universe uh, reading? No. No, it's not. Um, it's a very mediocre uh, story. I think it can be skipped. I'm not too keen on it. I just, you know, it's, it's kind of one of those run-of-the-mills where, oh, the Empire's attacking. You know, they're doing a plot. I guess we better stop them. Um, I mean, but you can excuse it. I mean, I guess, because, I mean, let's think about this. This is, what, 1979? And the Empire is all we know. Um, so you can kind of excuse it, but even then, it's kind of one of the, for me at least, it's one of the weaker uh, of the newspaper strips, considering the fact that I really do like the newspaper strips. So it's, it's one of those things where I think, you know, yeah, you could skip it. It's not essential, and it's not really a favorite of mine at all. So I think this is really one of the shortest episodes we've had, but there really isn't much to say about it. It's just kind of there, and, and I mean, read it if you want, I guess. But for me, I'm going to give you a hard pass on this one and say, eh, go ahead and move on. But if you're a completist like me uh, and want to get it, you can get it in single issues. Uh, it's Star Wars, uh, classic Star Wars um, by Dark Horse, um, or you can, of course, pick up the trades. Uh, this is the early adventures, and in fact, this is the cover that if you were going to go pick it up now um, at like Barnes & Noble or a comic book store or something, um, you would be this cover, and it's the Marvel Epic Collections, which those Epic Collections are really cool. I'll have to show you some eventually when we get to uh, our chronology where I actually have some of those. But uh, they're really cool, and I think they're a great way to uh, support Legends and to collect a lot of these comic books. So I would recommend picking them up. So, hey... Thank you for uh, joining me today, and uh, tune in next time where we continue on in our chronology of the Expanded Universe in publication order. Thanks so much, folks. May the Force be with you.